mankind the maker of this documentary video. In it, I'm going to show you why mankind did not migrate out of Central Africa, up towards the Sahara Desert, cross the Sahara Desert, cross the Red Sea, and migrate throughout the earth. And the tribe of people that did this, they did not become all of the people on earth today. All the 8 billion people did not happen. And the reason is, it's just simply an impossible task for any human to do. See this map behind me? This map supposedly represents, the map with all the arrows, it supposedly represents the path that this tribe took from Central Africa 60,000 years ago. Well, it's so easy to paint arrows on maps, but actually doing a trip like these arrows represent, it just didn't happen. National Geographic made a documentary about humans migrating throughout the earth and supposedly it's a, this occurred 60,000 years ago but of course that didn't happen either because the humans on earth 60,000 years ago didn't have nearly the technology they needed to do the job that, that these maps represent. They didn't have compasses, they didn't have navigational skills, they didn't have maps and they would have had no idea where they were going. If they tried to cross an ocean they would have had no idea that there was some island out there or a continent like Australia. So crossing hundreds of miles of ocean and hoping something was there is, is just completely ridiculously impossible. In the next clip, Spencer Wells from National Geographic is going to tell you what he thinks the odds that a small tribe of Africans from Central Africa uh, migrated throughout the world and uh, he and I pretty much agree but the problem is then National Geographic goes on and tells a story about about how something that's impossible happened and uh, anyway here we go something happened a small band left their African homeland on a journey into an unknown hostile world you are one of their children who were these people how did their children come to populate the entire earth I'll explain more about how we know this a little later. We are desperately close to the answers. We're on the verge of understanding the greatest journey in the history of our species. And yet... Listen, I'll be honest with you. I've got a problem. I've spent nearly 10 years checking and double-checking the details of this journey until I have complete and total faith in our results. And the upshot? A story that's, well, frankly, it's impossible. These are the San Bushmen, a tribe of Africans from Central Africa. Using DNA testing, Spencer Wells thinks that he proved beyond a shadow of a doubt that a portion of this tribe broke off. They ventured north out of Africa and wound up populating the entire world. Yes, they turned into everybody on Earth, including you and me. The absurdity of this notion is that this particular part of the tribe stayed right where they were for 60,000 years. They never migrated at all, so why would a section of them break off and migrate all over the earth? That's just completely ridiculous. Further, this tribe had no compasses, no knowledge of navigation, no maps, and no idea where they would be going. So why would they do something so completely stupid? Further, this tribe lives mostly barefoot and naked. Look like they could survive the incredibly harsh environments they would need to to migrate throughout the entire earth. I'm sorry, but I don't think so. The scientific story goes that the sand bushmen migrated throughout Africa. Well, to give you an idea about how difficult even this part would be, I put a map of the United States over the map of Africa. It'll give you an idea of how immense Africa is. If the sand bushmen did an incredible job of migrating, it would look something like this map right here. Since they had no maps, compass, or navigation skills, they would have no idea where they were going. They wouldn't know which way north, south, east, or west was. They could not possibly go in a straight line like the map shows up to the Red Sea. But let's pretend they were really lucky or somehow really smart about navigation and they were able to go straight north to the Red Sea. First, they would have had to trek hundreds of miles due north to the edge of the Sahara Desert. Here they are crossing the Sahara Desert with no food, no water, no clothing for protection, nothing. Crossing through Ethiopia to avoid the Sahara Desert would have been no easier. Here's the tribe crossing an area called Afar in Ethiopia. Afar is the hottest place on earth. The average temperature in Afar is 87 degrees. Average. It gets up into the 120s. The water you see is salt water. It's not drinkable. So no matter which way they went north, through the Sahara, 
or through Ethiopia, they all would have died. They would have gotten lost. But let's play pretend. Let's pretend they made it all the way to the Red Sea. Now, the Red Sea is 20 to 170 miles across. So how did they cross the Red Sea? Did they swim? Did they use boats? Well, boats weren't really even invented 60,000 years ago. In fact, the sand tribesmen today don't have boats. Okay, so somehow they got across the Red Sea. We don't know how. At some point around the Red Sea, a group of the tribesmen broke off to become all of the world's Jews and Arabs. 100% of the remnant turned into Jews and Arabs because there was no remnant whatsoever left of the Bushmen. Now they had to cross the Arabian Desert, an even more deadly desert than the Sahara in many ways. The Arabian Desert has the largest area of just pure sand of any desert in the world. Any ancient tribe that tried to cross the Sahara Desert or the Arabian Desert would have looked something like this, and very quickly. But let's continue on with this pretend journey. Next, they had to cross the Persian Gulf, which is 60 to 210 miles across, much farther than the Red Sea. Same problem as the Red Sea. How the heck did they get across? We don't know. Next, the intrepid Bushmen had to travel through Pakistan, India, Bangladesh, and into Southeast Asia, a trek of about 2,500 miles. Reality is they would be traveling in circles like they would across any great landmass without any navigation equipment. Their best shot at success would be traveling along the coastline of India, but that would be a trip of about 4,500 miles. Impossible. At some point in this trek, the Sam Bushmen, or whatever they were at this time, split off of the group, remained in India, and turned into Indians. What's truly amazing is 100% of them did. There was no remnant whatsoever of the original Sam Bushmen in India. Next, the tribe of Bushmen had to travel from the east coast of India all the way to what is now the east coast of Vietnam. If they went on a very direct route, it would be about 2,500 more miles. But a naked, barefoot tribe with absolutely no navigation skills or navigation equipment is they would spend thousands of years going in circles and finally die. Some of the tribe members broke off of the group and remained in Asia. These people turned into 100% of the Asians that exist in the world today. Not a single tribe member was left to prove this incredible transformation. Another part of the tribe broke off because they decided they wanted to go to Australia. Now this group crossed the South China Sea, which is 600 miles. They trekked across Borneo, which is 400 miles. And they crossed the Java and Timor Seas, which is 1,000 miles. Again, we'll just have to use our imaginations on how they did this. 40,000 years ago, the tribe, or whatever was left of them, or whatever they were at the time, entered Europe through Southeast Asia. This part of the tribe turned into Caucasians. Europe was 100% Caucasian, and again, there was no remnant whatsoever left of the tribe that supposedly led to the formation of Caucasians. Next, the tribe, or whatever they were now, or whatever was left of them, migrated 5,500 miles up the east coast of Asia to a land bridge between North America and Asia. So 15,000 years ago, they entered North America, South America, and they turned into Incas, Aztecs, and American Indians. So these sand tribesmen turned into these people. One might think that you would see Asians with this group of people, or a remnant of the sand tribesmen, but not so. So what does this video prove about these maps with arrows? It proves that maps are real easy to draw with arrows on them. It also proves that a tribe of natives from Africa did not leave Africa and inhabit the entire Earth. Listen, I'll be honest with you. I've got a problem. I've spent nearly 10 years checking and double-checking the details of this journey until I have complete and total faith in our results. And the upshot? A story that's, well, frankly, it's impossible.